Perfectionism will stop you from taking action and keep you from becoming the artist and the person that you were made to be. So join me today because I'm going to take imperfect action and I invite you to do the same. This is another 30 minute miracle. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna be painting this scene. That's what I'm gonna be going uh, at, but I'm gonna do a little bit different version of it. I'm gonna crop it down like this. And you can see here kind of what I have done. I'm gonna give myself 30 minutes because, not because there's some magic in that, but because, again, imperfect action is going to beat procrastination and trying to make everything perfect. And so if you ever feel like you're stuck in a painting rut, one of the things you can do is just take imperfect action. Just go, you know what? This might not be the best painting that I've ever done, but I'm going to start, I'm going to do something. You know, it doesn't mean that um, you can't work on it later either. You know, this is a 30 minute session and what I want to do is I want to go at it as hard as I can. I want to be as courageous as I can while I'm going. Um, but when that 30, sec 30 minutes is up, I can step back. I can look at the painting. I can say, what do I like? What do I not like? And I can go into it again if I, if I want to. But I'm going to get started because there's no time like now. Okay, let's go. So this is a cool scene. A lot of this over here on this side is dark. I've got blue, red, green. If you learn how to mix colors, you can do anything in the art world. It's so fun. So don't be afraid of not having a thousand colors on your palette uh, because you can learn how to mix colors and you can work within like a really small set of paints like I have here. And you can do a lot with that. But I'm going to just try to come in and establish some of my darks. I want them to be a little bit more interesting than just plain green or black or something. So that's one of the reasons to mix your own darks is that you'll usually come up with some pretty interesting um, color you know, it's not just plain in any anything like, not just going to be a plain black or anything. I have quite a bit of variety there. And really all I'm going to try to do here is I'm trying to establish where things are and put in my darks at the same time. And after I put in a lot of the darks, I will... Just keep moving with into midtones and the rest of the values. But my usual thought process is that darks are good in a painting underneath as much as possible. Uh, it generally looks a little bit better if they're underneath and your light values are on top. This is painted on a surface that was gray. It's actually a color called Vancouver Gray from Chroma Acrylics in Vancouver, BC. Cool color that they mix out of all these other leftover paints. I, I uh, put the actual colors on for my drawing with an uh, acrylic marker. Just wanted to answer those questions since I know somebody out there is going to ask and wonder. I can anticipate some of the questions because they're, they're common, a lot of common questions. And so, um, you know, sometimes I think what intimidates us in art and life is that we feel dumb and we feel like, oh, I don't know enough. <laughs> and uh, it's one of the great lies that keeps us from actually ever trying something or moving forward with something because, look, do I even, you, you guys don't even know. If you've ever been around me, you might know. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. 95% of the time, I don't know what I'm doing. In art, in life, in just about anything, I'm, I'm just almost always 
just like trying to figure out what what should I do? What what's the best way to move forward? But I read this quote. I share it a lot. I love it. It's from another artist, George O'Keefe, and she said, "I've been absolutely terrified every moment of my life, but I and I've never let it keep me from doing one single thing." And I think that the feeling like, "Oh, I don't know what I'm doing," I that can like what does it do when you feel that what what it makes you hesitate it makes you not act and so why would i subject myself to doing a 30 minute painting or you know try something like this why would i do this in front of people well because i know that my life is not to be kept for myself i'm supposed to serve people and even though I, I honestly struggle with what am I going to do? Like, this took me about five days of thinking about stuff, and I never came up with a good idea. And then today I was just like thinking, well, what? I've got to do something today. I've got to do something today. And finally, I'm like, okay, I just happened to think of this idea because I, I did it before, and I thought, well, okay, I can do that. And yet, I still struggle with these feelings of insecurity, I still struggle with them. And I, that's why I know you do too. I know that there's somebody out there, there's others who are like, I'm fine, I don't need that. Like you're talking to somebody else, but not me. But there are some of you that are hesitant and you don't take action because you're afraid. And you're afraid because you don't feel like you know exactly what to do. And I'm here to just say, it's better to take action than to, you know, I heard this from somebody and I loved it so much because they said, I, I said something about wasting paint and they said, hey, two things real quickly. One, if you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Secondly, I just created this beautiful PDF color mixing guide that I would love to give to you. So if you are interested, click the link in the description and I will send it to you right away. Now back to the video. The only paint that's wasted is what's left in the tube. And so somebody out there right now needs the encouragement to say, you can do it, whatever it is. I don't, I'm not even just talking about art. I'm talking about life. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about how can you be a better dad, husband, wife, mother, uh, friend, worker. I don't know. Whatever it is. Like you have dreams, you have ideas, you have ambitions, you have hopes, you have dreams. Could you do this? Could you do that? And a lot of times you just get stuck in places, if you're like me, where you feel like, well, I, I just don't know what to do. Well, every time I've ever listened to anybody who has um, wisdom and insight, and maybe they've gone a little further than me, one thing I hear constantly from them is, just take action. Any action, any action. What's the worst thing that will happen, guys? I mean, the worst thing that will happen is we fail. What happens when we fail? We learn something. And here's another quote for you. Failure is not the opposite of success. Failure is part of success. If you can change your mindset to believe that and embrace that and say, you know what? It's fine. Failure is a part of success. Failure is me taking action. It's me moving forward. And even if it doesn't turn out in this exact moment, I learned something. And it's not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. And shoot, I just learned something. I just grew. I just challenged myself. You don't want to leave paint in the tube. You've got something inside of you that is good. Something inside of you that you can share with the world. So, this is me saying, I'm going out on a limb. I'm going out and I'm hustling right now to try to create a painting in 30 minutes that is worth looking at. But even if it's not, Hopefully we can convey, hopefully we can slay some, some dragons of fear. Hopefully we can convey some joy in the world. And 
If we can even just do that, I'm happy. It's a win, right? If somebody, there's one person who gets encouraged by this video, then it's a win. It's a complete win. And if nobody gets encouraged but I learn something, it's a win. We're doing this not for perfection. It's the whole point of this. It's a miracle if it turns out. Honestly, it's a miracle if it turns out. But sometimes there are miracles in the world. Sometimes things happen that are un explainable like you can't imagine what just happened or how this worked or that that's what we're going for it's what we're always aiming for we want the miracle sometimes sometimes i heard this this guy named nick can't even say his last name but he says sometimes when you don't get the miracle when god doesn't give you the miracle it's because he wants you to be the miracle you might not have everything go your way, but maybe you can be the miracle. Maybe your attitude, your perspective, who you become through the hard thing, maybe that's the miracle, is that you changed, you grew, you became something better. And you can be that better person for the other people around you, and maybe you become the actual miracle. Isn't that kind of amazing to think about that your life has significance, that you can change somebody else's perspective, somebody else's existence by becoming the best version of you. And you'll never become the best version of you unless you take a risk. You will never become the best version of you unless you step out in courage, even if it's in fear. What do they say? Courage is not the absence of fear. It is acting. It is doing the thing that is right in spite of fear. You're waiting to be fearless. You're going to wait too long. You won't actually take action because you will never be fearless. You just have to have courage to overcome fear. And painting, ironically, is one of those places in life where people sometimes feel a a, a great amount of fear. And I, I don't always know exactly why, except for the fact that I believe Henry Matisse was correct when he said creativity takes courage. And so I think that there's this part inside of us that it's we're... We're actually afraid because creativity is, by its nature, there's something about it that makes us step into the unknown and open up a part of ourselves that is untapped. And maybe that's just just ultimately like really scary looking at this though and I'm like there's parts of this that I really like and this whole painting is still wet and I'm going to need to let it dry a little bit figure out where I can work while I'm Hoping, like this area in here, I really would like to do another coat in there. I'm not sure about the green in the sky, but I kind of like it. There's some details that I could try to get into. Maybe I should put in this blue at the top of the sky. What is it for you, though? Where do you need courage? 
Where is there part of your life that you feel like there's more, more for you, more to you for you to take action in and pursue? Miracles do happen. But most, most miracles, just like uh, I think it's, uh, let's see, um, I'm trying to think of a painter's name that I, I'm going to be embarrassed when I remember his name because very famous. It was uh, Monet. And Monet said, a lot of people think I'm working miracles, but really I'm just using up and wasting a lot of paint. But like we talked about before, the only paint that's actually wasted is the paint that is still in your tube. Whatever is inside of you, that God put inside of you, that is there for the good of the world, if you're still holding on to that, if you're still fearful and not living that out, that's the part that I'm trying to encourage you in. What can you do? How can you embrace that calling, that action, whatever it is, and take steps forward in courage and in victory. Because to act in courage is to claim that victory. It's to, it's to move in victory. It's to say, I'm not letting fear win the day today. I'm not going to sit back. I'm not going to sit back. Taking action. I'm acting in faith. So, That's my encouragement for you. I want this to be a line of clouds that kind of sitting sitting above the horizon. Maybe I'm all done. Maybe I used up all my words. I don't know. I'd love to hear from you, though. Put something in the comments section. Where do you want to grow? Maybe it's in art. Maybe it's in some other area of life. Where is there a place that you could take courageous action where you don't have to wait for everything to be perfect, where you can... Step out because imperfect action is better than a lot of procrastination. What does it look like for you? I'm going to darken that up. It's a little bit distracting right down here. Plan and problem solve. Careful planning, brilliant improvisation. One of the greatest quotes I ever heard about the ease of painting. Robert Gant said, a good painting is a combination. Careful planning, brilliant improvisation. Definitely 
I've found that I need both all the time. Okay, guys, I'm done right now. I'm done. I don't even, I haven't even gone 30 minutes, but I'm done because right now I can't see a lot that, that I know I can get in. Actually, I'm going to grab my smaller brush just for a minute because there's, there's, there's actually a part of the painting that I never put in. And that is back hill. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be done because what, what can happen at a stage like this, especially with the clock running, is it makes me feel like, oh, I need to do something right now. But honestly, I, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I, I like parts of it quite a bit. And there's other parts of it that I'm not sure about, but it would be foolish to keep going because I would just be messing around. Is it a miracle? I don't know. We'll see. We'll check it out. Sometimes things need time to be able to evaluate them, to be able to look at them and go like, oh my goodness, like that rocked. That's really good. Or maybe you go like, I like the idea, but you had poor execution. Or you go, it's really solid, but it needs more work. But you know what? It doesn't matter. The joy for me is saying I did it. I'm done. And hopefully you got something out of it. That's my hope, is that you got something out of this session. So write in the comments. Tell me what you want to uh, grow in, what you want to take action in. If there's something fearful that is in front of you that you're just struggling with. But maybe, 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 by the grace of God, this encourages you to take action and to move forward in whatever area that is. Guys, thank you. You are loved and believed in. I'll see you next time.